This is the fluffy HR stuff, right? We all have relationships in life. So this should be a natural trait. We all have uh, no. So often companies and new managers focus on the work to get done and less on who's doing it and what motivates them to do more. In our jobs, however automated tasks may be, we still have to achieve things working with other people, other human beings, with their many different perspectives. So how do we work on this important element of our success? Today, we're going to talk about one of the most critical aspects of becoming a successful manager, building strong relationships. As a new manager, it's essential to foster a positive and collaborative environment. But let's dive into the skills and mindset changes that can help you build effective relationships with your team. Building relationships as a new manager is crucial for creating trust, enhancing communication and driving team performance. Strong relationships lead to a more engaged and motivated team, which ultimately contributes to the success of your projects and the organization. Let's start with the five key skills you'll need to develop. Active listening. Pay full attention to your team members. Get clarity. Show empathy and respond thoughtfully. This builds trust and shows that you value their input. Clear communication. Be transparent and articulate your thoughts clearly. Ensure that your team understands your expectations and goals. And if not, they feel able to ask your emotions, recognize and manage the responses you have to your emotions and understand the emotions of others. This helps in resolving conflicts and fostering a positive working environment. Approachability, be accessible and open to feedback. Encourage your team to come to you with their ideas, their concerns, feedback and suggestions. Don't cancel one-on-one -on -one meetings. Imagine what message this sends. Conflict resolution. Develop skills to mediate disputes and find constructive solutions. This maintains a harmonious team dynamic. Don't ignore this. Lean into it. Deal with the elephant in the room. It's also worth remembering that conflict is healthy for a team if done respectfully. If everyone is nodding in agreement to every decision or plan, that should make you concerned. Healthy conflict drives greater ideas and innovation. Embrace it. Don't run away from it. Let's discuss the mindset changes required. Embrace a coaching approach. Adopt a coaching mindset. Provide guidance and support to help your team grow and develop their skills. Guide them to find solutions. This approach will prevent them from always seeking an answer from you. Ask open questions like, what would you do? And how do you think we should approach this? Value collaboration over competition. Encourage teamwork and collective problem solving. Celebrate team achievements and recognize individual contributions. Commit to continuous learning. Recognize that becoming an effective manager is an ongoing process. Seek feedback, learn from your experiences, and be open to new ideas and strategies. However, avoid asking questions such as, please give me some feedback, or how do you think I'm doing as a manager? What are they supposed to say to that? Many people won't know how to respond or give you everything, so be specific. Ask them for feedback on a specific event or a specific skill you're trying to develop. For example, your communication skills. Do they find it clear? Here are five practical tips to put these skills and mindset changes into action. Hold regular one-on-one -on -one meetings. Schedule regular check-ins with your team members to discuss their progress, their challenges and career aspirations. Also make time to ask them about, well, them what's going on for them at the moment, and how can you support them more. Provide constructive feedback. Give timely and specific feedback that helps your team members grow and improve, and make sure, as part of your own development, 
you are asking for feedback on your performance as a people manager. This shows vulnerability and builds trust. Show appreciation and recognition. Acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of your team members. This boosts morale and motivation. Encourage open communication. Create channels for open and honest communication. Make sure your team feels comfortable sharing their thoughts and ideas. In conclusion, building strong relationships as a new manager is essential for your success and the success of your team. By developing the right skills and adopting a supportive and collaborative mindset, you can create a positive and productive work environment.